Dear guests, welcome to our island. Seventeen is an important milestone in the history of excavations in Akrotiri. Fifty years of continuous work have been completed since Professor Spiridon Marinatos first struck the earth with his pick in May 1967. His purpose was to verify his old theory and link the decline of the Minoan civilization in Crete with the eruption of the Santorini volcano. Regardless of whether his theory was vindicated, he succeeded in bringing to light a great civilization which had vanished due to a volcano. But that's not all. Foreseeing that the excavation would be of long duration, he began to create infrastructures in order to protect the excavation site and preserve the exquisite remains he was uncovering. On the 6th of May, an exhibition on artistic bookbinding opens in the village of Pyrgos. The exhibition is hosted in the Estia Exhibition Center in the central square of Pyrgos and runs throughout May. On the 19th and 20th of May, a seminar on shark and sea ecosystem protection is held by the Shark Aware instructor Katerina Topuzoglu. The participants will be given an official certificate. At the same time, they will have the chance to clean Glihada Beach. In Santorini Arts Factory, the exhibition Games and Toys from the ancient years until today runs throughout the month. The exhibition includes copies of ancient toys, old and modern games, audiovisual material with narratives about traditional games and the way they were played in Santorini. From the 1st until the 6th of May, the European Kickboxing Championship takes place in Santorini. Main guest of honor will be the 17 times world champion in kickboxing, Mike Zambidis, also known as Iron Mike. The Games will be held at the Dapo Sports Center in Carterados. Did you know? Valuable information about everyday life in Akrotiri was discovered on the frescoes which have survived until today. 
The lighthouse on the southwest end of the island was built by the French company La Société Colla et Michel in 1892.